Vorapaxor, also known as Zontivity, is a medication used to prevent heart attacks and strokes in people who have previously had a heart attack or have poor blood flow, peripheral arterial disease. It works by blocking certain blood cells called platelets from sticking together and forming harmful blood clots. This antiplatelet effect helps to keep blood flowing smoothly in the body, reducing the risk of serious problems such as heart attacks and strokes. It is important to take Zontivity as prescribed by your doctor and to follow their recommendations for dosage and timing. Before you start taking Zontivity, make sure to read the medication guide provided by your pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, usually once daily. It can be taken with or without food. To get the most benefit, take it regularly at the same time each day. Your doctor may also direct you to take other antiplatelet drugs, such as aspirin, clopidogrel, with Zontivity, so make sure to follow their directions carefully. Do not increase your dose or take it more often than prescribed, as it will not improve your condition any faster and may increase your risk of side effects. Even if you feel well, keep taking Zontivity and do not stop without consulting your doctor. If you experience easy bruising or bleeding, such as nosebleeds, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to note that most people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it is crucial to seek immediate medical help if you notice any signs of bleeding, such as stomach pain, vomiting blood, or dark urine. If you have any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as swelling of the face or trouble breathing, seek medical help right away. Remember, this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. As always, consult your healthcare provider for personalized medical advice. If you take Vorapaxor, you are at an increased risk of bleeding, which can be serious and even fatal. It's important not to use Vorapaxor if you've had a stroke, mini-stroke, or bleeding in the brain in the past, or if you currently have any bleeding problems. Make sure to talk to your doctor about the pros and cons of taking this medication before starting or continuing treatment. Before taking Zontivity, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies or if you have a history of certain medical conditions such as stroke, bleeding problems, recent surgery, serious injury, or liver disease. While taking Zontivity, it may take longer for bleeding to stop if you have a cut or injury, so be cautious with sharp objects and avoid contact sports. It's important to limit alcoholic beverages while using Zontivity, as it may increase the risk of stomach bleeding. If you are planning to have surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about your Zontivity use. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, discuss with your doctor about the risks and benefits of using Zontivity. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions with Zontivity in order to ensure that it works effectively and to avoid any serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the medications you are taking and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with Zontivity include certain antidepressants, anticoagulants, azole antifungals, HIV protease inhibitors, and drugs used to treat seizures. It's important to check all prescription and non-prescription medicine labels carefully, as many contain pain relievers slash fever reducers that could have antiplatelet effects and increase the risk of side effects if taken together with Zontivity. However, if your doctor has directed you to take low-dose aspirin for heart attack or stroke prevention, you should continue taking it unless instructed otherwise. Ask your doctor or pharmacist for more details on the best timing and daily dosage for Zontivity. If someone has taken too much Zontivity and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. When taking Zontivity, it's important to not share this medication with others. You may also need to undergo lab and or medical tests, such as a complete blood count, while you are taking this medication. It's important to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose of Zontivity, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's close to the time of your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your regular time. Don't take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing Zontivity, 
it's important to keep it at room temperature and away from moisture. Avoid storing it in the bathroom and always keep the tablets in their original package, whether that's the bottle or the blister packs. Make sure to keep the bottle tightly closed with the desiccant inside to protect the tablets from moisture. And of course, it's essential to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to disposing of zontivity, it's important not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. Instead, be sure to properly discard this product and it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on the proper way to dispose of zontivity. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.